Hello, welcome to the Applied Paediatrics postgraduate course, namely a postgraduate certificate, postgraduate diploma and the MSc. My name is Dr Dina Shafali Patel and I am the course director for all of those programmes. We want to provide a world-class education embedded in a research environment. Our potential students, we hope, will be postgraduates, so they do have an undergraduate degree. We want you to be qualified practitioners, so within the medical profession, not necessarily a doctor, a nurse, an allied healthcare professional, and ideally we want you to have two years of experience within a field of children's healthcare. That's two years on the job experience. How does the programme work? It works as a part-time course over two to three years. Each module within them will be somewhere between three to six weeks and we average about five weeks. At the end of every single module is an assessment. So it's a summative assessment and it forms your marks. Because it's online, you know, you can easily access supplementary materials such as journal papers or videos or um, sound bites, sound clippets, podcasts. There are so many different kind of digital integrations, lots of lots of integration with other digital media. Within the first year is our postgraduate certificate and they have compulsory or core modules. Postgraduate certificate is split into five modules. You start with the science evidence and research fundamentals in paediatric module and then splice in the fundamentals of human genetics and genomics, after which you come back to the SURF module. The next module is the law and ethics in paediatric practice, followed by assessment of optimization of healthcare trajectories and then child population and social health. And I'm being really explicit about these modules because they actually form the topics of our spiral curriculum, that which we wind through every single module throughout the whole three years. The diploma year has four elective modules for you to choose out of a variety. You can stream or come out with a general award. This course came up and it looked kind of perfect. I like the way that it did the three year kind of increments almost and you build on what you've learned each year. I looked at the modules and I thought this looks really interesting and it's kind of exactly what I want to do and what I'm interested in. Now you can take any of the four that are on offer there or you can decide to stream in a subspeciality. So for example, as somebody with a neonatal interest, I might choose to do the perinatal care module, the neonatal respiratory management module, the cardiology module, and the encephalopathy module. At the end, or as your final year, the MSc project should be stream specific if you wish to exit with a specific award. And that project, can be an actual research project or a systematic review that will be undertaken locally to the individual student within their practice context. Hello, my name is Heather Hanna. I'm the Clinical Teaching Fellow on the Applied Paediatrics courses. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about our pedagogy. So you'll be doing a lot of your work asynchronously. What we mean by that is you'll be watching things or studying things or doing activities on your own using Incendi. But then there'll be synchronous sessions. These will be really exciting because they're the times when we're all meeting together in a Zoom meeting in real time. Anyway, welcome everybody. It is fantastic to see everybody uh, on screen. Um, and uh, it's been really nice to read everybody's contributions. They're like often enough that you touch base and you get to talk through all the the concepts and things and get kind of a firm firm base but they're not like so often that I'm stretched to fit them in and also I find that although it's online and the online classes are online you do kind of get a good uh, relationship with the other students as well we really want you to develop your digital literacy and this will be developed naturally by using the virtual learning environment or VLE so one of the most important things that we want to do is active learning. This means that you're co-constructing your learning, both through the work that you do and the work you do with your peers, as well as the learning that we give you from the module leaders, the lecturers, and the activities that we have you do. 
I like, I really like Incendi. I really like that system. I think it's really clear. I love being able to tick off when I've done stuff, just little bits every day. And because it's broken into the smaller chunks, like each week's broken into the smaller sections, um, you can kind of get, get through a section in that amount of time generally. We really want you to learn real world experiences and learn how to do tasks that will help you in your career as you go forward. We have some very interesting experiential and adaptive learning, and we're using a virtual reality 360 camera to do some of our simulation scenarios. We'd also like you to explore advanced decision making, as well as having an opportunity for experiential learning. And we'd like you to self-reflect on many of the aspects that we teach you about. What is it like in your context? How would you do things differently? And we encourage you to be very independent. This is your learning. We can give you all of the tools, but it's up to you to make use of them. So I really enjoyed reading and watching the videos and reading the journal articles and then doing these activities because it really helps to ensure active learning and that the material sticks with me um, and just makes learning more interactive and less boring in a way than just reading or just watching a lecture. I hope that this has inspired you to apply for the programme. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us on the email for the course.